Guild Boss 5, let's go back in. Welcome back to another bit, Legends video, fellas. This is attempt number two. Oh my gosh, it's on auto. I'm such a horrible player. Attempt number two against Guild Boss 5. We killed it last week. Can we kill it again? I think the answer is going to be yes. But anyways, so we're back in here. Hopefully nothing too crazy went off. I did use the wrong skill there, but you know what? Let's, let's get comfy. Let's get back in the groove. Let's focus. Focus up. Here we go. Is it time for me to change my intro music? Is it? I don't know. I like it. I'm not in love with it. I like it. It's been our thing. But over time, uh, you know, it's important to, to evolve. We shall see. Maybe that'll be a conversation for another day. I need to focus. I'm getting too excited. I need to focus. So, um, I'm running two chimes. So the, the rear two characters are running chimes. Um, we've got three Slayer guns in here, two Thunder Furies. That was the true damage that ignores uh, your tank's armor, because uh, there you go, it's fun. We're going to let uh, some more cycles go through. What's kind of cool is what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to let my bounty hunters attack six times so they have their, um, so they have their buff talent stacked up and all, all nice and beautiful. However, what's already happening anyway, I have to wait for my tank to get his debuff ready anyway, so that's kind of happening, so it's really, I don't even have to think about that. So, easy peasy, not going to worry about it. Now, in my first attack, um, on turn, tw I think it was turn 21, I thought my tank was going to be ready, so I ended up buffing Gibby, and I didn't want to waste the buff, so I did the full launch, even though the debuff was not there, so we're not going to do that this time. We'll probably screw up in some other way, but that's okay. We're all, we're learning, we're doing stuff. Oh. Now... If I do the debuff now, Vashir is going to attack next. And Vuk will not be able to buff him. So that's going to be a problem. Although, maybe I could get Windless's full launch off. Let's, let's hold it for a second. Let's hold it. So yeah, Vashir would have attacked without the buff. Things you, I, to, I want to stack up both of them. And I can't buff anybody now because my tank's not ready to attack. So it's getting kind of complex. I think it was naturally lining up a whole lot easier last week. But uh, we already did 10 million with one screw up anyway. So I'm, I'm honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm kind of relaxed about this. And the, the fight is long enough for me, hopefully, to figure it out. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. But, woo! That was the boss's attack that reduces everybody to um, the furthest four to one hit point, but it ignores shields. All the shielding is actually coming from my little angel pets, unless I'm completely wrong on something, which probably isn't the situation. Honestly, I'm just hoping, one, that Chime uh, carries and heals everybody up. Um, that was Vuk's Thunder Fury leeching attack. That's why he's healed all the way to full. Uh, it is nice to, to have the chime going because I don't have to think about healing at all. Two chimes really gets it done. I kind of talked about the idea of get, dropping down to one chime. I don't think we're at that level yet. That's just kind of asking for a bad day, so we're not going to do that. But it's worth it's worth thinking about it. So the, it, the build, the team comp that we have lets you just kind of focus on hoping the turn rate lines up. Um, something that's coming in next week's update is there are checkpoints in refining. So once you hit plus 10 on refine, you cannot drop under 10. And then once you hit plus 15, you can't drop under 15. All my gear is at 15, but knowing the checkpoint is there, um, is anybody ready to go? Do I buff somebody now? Do I buff a sheer and hope that the tank goes first? I don't know if I trust that, man. Do I buff Vashir and hope my tank can go first? Hmm. I don't like it, man. 
I don't like it. Let's think about this. Vashir would have gone, but he would not have gotten the tank debuff, which we found out is very important. Hmm. This is, this is getting difficult. But anyways, um, the refine checkpoint at 15, so you can't drop below. All my gear is at plus 15, but once the checkpoint is in place, I'm gonna go to at least plus 16, maybe plus 17. The only thing that would make me not do that is depending on the destiny armor, how I feel about it. Although I don't think that there's gonna be any gear that's gonna make me take off my defender set in Thunder Fury anytime soon. As you can see here, and if you use me in raids, Defender set gives a ton of SP. It's a, it's amazing. I think I buff Gibby here at 16. I think I buff Gibby. Please give me good RNG. And then I debuff. Bot, it's 16. Just kind of keep in mind when the boss is going to attack and, and kill my dude. The boss attacks, so all of 15 should be clear. We get a good full launch, because he's not going to get the SA buff anyways. Ooh, 16 might be the thing. Oh my good... Well, let's buff Vashir. The full launch on Gibby is good. Maybe 16 is the number. The full launch on Vashir is good. I did it without screwing anything up. It only took me three weeks. <laughs> So 16, 16 was the strat. Now the difference is, you know, once you finally get used to the turn rate of your team, the SP proccing from both NGs and from the defender set is, it's, it's random. So you might not be in the same scenario. <laughs> you just gotta learn to, to be patient. You've got 25 rounds against the boss. You can probably figure it out within that time. Holy smokes, as long as the chime heals and my whole team doesn't get wiped early, um, that should be the highest damage on this boss possible. You know, a little bit of RNG here and there, of course, but whoo, <laughs> nice. So anyways, unless the Destiny gear is just completely busted, um, I will probably be wearing Defender for a long time, which gives me a little bit, it it's, it's kind of feels good, kind of doesn't. So my concern is, and my suggestion has been, do not put higher total stat gear out there. You can, like Raid 9 was a great move, it was side upgrades. It wasn't upgrades, it was side grades. So if you want variety, if you want something different, you can go to Raid 9 and get cool stuff. However, the TS, the total stats on the gear is the same as Raid 8. It's pretty much the same as Guild Boss. And I don't think they should come out with a new tier of higher total stat gear because if Unity as the Guild is not finished with all their Guild Boss gear, we're close, but we're not finished. If we're not finished, no one else is finished. I'm gonna do the debuff because why not? <laughs> there we go. Of course, we're gonna do that second debuff. Kaboom. Um, but yeah, if, if Unity, if we're not finished in our Raid 8 slash 9 slash Guild Boss gear, no Guild is. So why would you come out with a higher tier of gear and then potentially devalue the gear that everybody has right now? You know? So we'll have to wait and see. I've heard some things, but um, builds and, and ideas change over time. And one of the reasons why I don't give a lot of info is because things change over time. I don't want people to kind of get set on one thing or whatever. And then when it comes out, it's different, you know. That's one of the reasons why devs don't do that too much. So I'll just comment on it when it's in the game in whatever version that we see. But my feedback is we should not see higher total stat gear. The exception of Thunder Fury and Axe, yeah, those are fine. Those are ancient weapons. They're very expensive. They should be valuable for a very long time. That's fine. But... Um, Adding another tier of total stat is a bad move in my opinion. And tiers of gear should last four months. That's my opinion. Four months, maximum six months. If it's if the content takes longer than six months, people get bored, they do other stuff. You know, it's like, hey, what's going on? Um, but four months is perfect. That means you get three tiers per year. It's, it's fast enough that keeps people interested. There's always something to work on. It's not so fast that people can't keep up and they just get buried. It's not so slow that people lose interest. Um, and not only are we getting 
you know, this kind of new gear and tiers and things like that, but we're getting new content. Every month or so, we've gotten a new, um, a new game mode, and now we're getting Tower, which I'm really excited for Tower. So the game's moving in the right direction. It's just kind of putting those little, the little special touches on things and, and guiding the game as much as we can, but really happy with things. I'm always going to kind of look for to make things better. But man, as long as I don't screw this up, this should be the highest damage possible. Very excited. Let's do mouse skill. Look at that. Beautiful. Feeling good. Very long fight. This attack went so well that I almost want to make it its own video. So that if I epically screw up in the next attempt, that it's just like, oh, I guess I lost that video or I forgot to film it. But I've been, I've been pretty transparent, exposing my mistakes as much as anybody can. So why start now? But God, I gotta say, first off, it is hot today. It is hot. Oh my goodness, it's a hot day. Cooking, cooking. My lungs are still cooked. Uh, based on the 2020 things, there are certain keywords that I can't say in a YouTube video or YouTube gives me problems, so I'm not going to say the words that you're thinking right now, but uh, bruh, long-lasting effects, dude. I'm sure you can, you can sound it. I sound like a fat guy just ran upstairs, but oh, speaking of uh, fatness, though, we've been exercising. Finally, we can do some exercise. We're doing squats, deads, bench press, the whole thing. You know, you know how it is, like we were talking about last time, and by last time, I mean like a year ago. So it feels good, it feels good to move that body. But anywho, let's finish this attack. Oh my goodness, I might actually have to make this a, a separate video. If, it, if it's 20 minutes or close to, I'll, I will make it a separate one. I'll, I'll post the third one, don't worry, or that video will get lost like I talked about. Um, but if the video's too long, I've kind of complained about it before, but the internet here is super iffy. So um, a really long video, the chance of it getting screwed up when I upload it, like a legitimate screw up, is actually quite high. And uh, I feel pretty bad. So we'll see, we'll figure it out. But anywho, um, this is the second attack. We gotta do the third attack. I'll make a video on the ancient axe because it is actually pretty good. It's crazy, the crazy the price. The price is crazy, crazy, crazy. But um, it's a nice weapon. It's a mighty fine weapon. Personally, if it was up for me, if I was a DPS player, I would get the Slayer Guild boss gun and I would just chill. That's me. Um, I'm still, I still feel good about the Thunder Fury choice as a tank. First off, nobody else would take the materials in, in Unity and they've only become popular now. Now all the tanks want the stuff, which is fine. But, um, anywho, so I kind of jumped on that grenade. I don't regret it at all. Let's do the mount skill because the boss is gonna go in rage anyways. But yeah, if I was a tank starting out, I would do a five piece defender. I would do the cleric weapon and then I would just do whatever I feel like for the, I'll do his mount skill because why not? I would do whatever I want for um, the accessory I could just swap as needed. We actually have theory crafted a, a nice little off tank build where you have the cleric weapon and the cleric uh, device and you have a five piece defender so you're, you're super fast it repairs really well with NG it's good for stuff like raids maybe it might have some value I could probably tank this boss with that set here and that's kind of what I was thinking about doing but I'm honestly not gonna worry about it now that we have it on farm I'd rather myself and my people save up their resources for the future challenges that will come all right Let's show damage, let's check the clock. And I forgot to show you guys the loot that dropped. Ooh, I think somebody wanted this. I don't remember if it was for, um, it was for cosmetic or for actually wearing. Got a bunch of speed on there. That's a cool piece, looks amazing. Very excited to give the boys something they want. But anywho, let's go and that was our second attack. So, ooh, we did a lot less than I thought. What the heck? We did 10 million last time, which means we did 8.3 this time. How did I do 2 million less without, with a screw up last time and perfect this time? That just shows you the, the RNG, the defense of the boss. I'll watch this thing again, this video again, to see what the hell happened, but. I got the debuffs off. I got the full launches with the buffs. 
everything else was just a normal rotation. If you guys can point to where I screwed up, let me know. 15 minute video. Yeah, let's cut it there and then I'll run the next attack. Don't worry, the other one will be up. All right, boys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.